All right, guys. Next up here, we got Camp Coldbrook. Some ghost stories turn out to be true. And there's Chad Michael Murray. Daniel Harris, she's also in this film. And uh, it is a good time, guys. It is. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was uh, pretty well done. And I just, I don't know. I like camp films, you know. Friday the 13th and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just uh, uh, sleepaway camps. Anything dealing with camp. I don't know. I like camps. This was a cool uh, haunting film. I really did like this. And it's Joe Dante Presents. It's pretty cool. If you guys have not heard of this, check this one out. Alright guys. Next up here is a comedy horror. And one of my all time favorites. If not one of my. like, If not my favorite horror comedy of all time. Beetlejuice. And it is the 20th anniversary. Uh, deluxe edition. It does come with. I believe three hilarious episodes from the animated Beetlejuice TV series. And we all know Beetlejuice. We all love Beetlejuice. It's a good time. All right, guys, another horror comedy film that I also love so much that I can watch this season and next season, which is Gremlins. I got the special edition. I would love it if they came out with like a really awesome edition of Gremlins. Super special features and whatnot would be friggin' awesome. The special features on here are crap. Um, you have to read everything in the special features. There's no like little mini videos, no bloopers, no nothing, no good times. Just read, 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 read. If I want to read, I'll read a book. I don't get a DVD to read the damn thing. Next up, guys, is a two-movie collection, also horror comedy, but very nostalgic, and that is The Addams Family and The Addams Family Values. Good times with both these films. This one is more trick-or-treating, like Halloween-ish, and uh, that one is more camp. Yeah, so, Addams Family, two-movie collection, DVD. Now, next up, guys... The Addams Family, The Addams Family Values, on Blu-ray. So, basically, same thing, just on Blu-ray, guys. No decent special features on here at all. Exact same thing, just Blu-ray copy. Uh, actually has better visuals and audio, though. So, that's, that's a good bonus. Now, next up here, guys, is another um, horror comedy... Not many people like this film. Like, it's half and half. A lot do, and a lot don't. Uh, I grew up with this film, so it's kind of nostalgic for me now. And um, I do have a good time with it today, even though a couple of the characters uh, annoy me profusely. And it is Hocus Pocus, guys. Check this out. I absolutely love this. I, uh, there's a few things on here that I would love to share with you guys. And I'm going to try... Um, we'll see if YouTube will let me, <laughs> but it has some awesome features. I don't know if you can see that there. It has some deleted scenes, fun facts and trivia, which is cool. Uh, behind the scenes secrets and more and, you know, concept art storyboards and all that goodness, guys, all that goodness. All right, next up here, we got... Ghostbusters 1 and 2, cannot go wrong with Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Um, I can watch these basically all year long, guys. Um, I never get bored with Ghostbusters, it seems. I can, I just have a good time all around. Um, it's great for Halloween, it's great for Christmas, it's great for New Year's, it's great in the summertime, it's great in the springtime, it's just great. So if you guys agree with me on that, let me know down below. Uh, part two here in this, though, actually comes with two episodes from the real Ghostbusters animated TV series. So if you guys ever see this, I think I picked this up for like five bucks. So if you guys uh, want to just check out a couple of episodes of the real Ghostbusters animated series, pick that up for five bucks and you'll be able to. All right, guys. Next up here is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Have not seen this yet. And it is called Frenzy. 
Now, a lot of these films as well came from a good friend, Will Cheetah Have You, and, um, or Have Cheetah Will View, or, <laughs> I super apologize, brother, for mixing up your name. Uh, my, my brain's not there at the moment. I super apologize, man. Um, I'll just say thank you, Patrick. <laughs> you know, you are the man, and... Again, I cannot thank you enough for all the greatness you sent me. And this film looks friggin' awesome. I can't wait to watch it. It is called Frenzy. Survival is her only option. And as you can tell, it is a shark film, guys. Have never seen this. Looks great. Looks like a good time. Yeah, the shark CGI, but doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, as long as the movie's good, CGI won't matter. Next up here, also got given to me by the cheetah, and that is Dark Was the Night. Have not dived into this one yet. I cannot wait. Sounds interesting. Looks interesting. You know, there's an unwritten rule in families that no two people can go crazy at the same time. So, just that alone... Sounds fantastic. All right, guys. Next up here, Jigsaw. DVD copy. The game continues. I cannot wait for Spiral. Spiral looks like fun. I believe it's actually going to be directed by Chris Rock. Out of all people. Um, next up here, I got these from the Degler and, uh, absolutely love it because it has a bunch of bonus features that aren't on some of the other versions I have. And that is Saw, the uncut edition. Thank you, brother, for this. Saw 3, I believe he also gave, which is friggin' awesome, unrated edition. Also comes with amazing bonus features, guys. All right, next up here, we got the seven film collection of Saw. All unrated versions. So yes, I have this, and I have the other Saw that you saw in the first part that I have. And uh, this is just fantastic. I might, I'm going to have to look to see about the special features on here, but I really like the, the artwork on that, guys. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Oh, no, I'm going to have to look at the special features and see if they're the same. Next up here, guys, Hunter's Moon. Fairly a new film. Uh, very, very, very interesting uh, werewolf film. I actually loved it. Um... It's basically about home invaders breaking into a house and not realizing that the people that are in the house that they're breaking into are werewolves. So yeah, that's kind of fun. It's a fun little twist and, uh, you know, has Thomas Jane. He played the Punisher. Uh, he was in um, a Deep Blue Sea and a few other films. He's decent. All right, guys. Next up here, I got M. Night Shyamalan Split. Uh, this is a, actually a pretty awesome film. Um, James McAvoy does a friggin' awesome job as playing uh, a, a person with split personalities. Uh, I know it's part two to Unbreakable, which I gotta get. And I also gotta get Glass, which is part three. Um, out of all the uh, M. Night Shyamalan films, those three are my favorite. All right, guys, next up here is The Turning. And um, this was fun. The alternate ending was better, in my opinion. So if you ever get this, watch the alternate ending for sure. Not first, obviously. Watch the film first, then watch the alternate ending, and let me know what you think. If the alternate ending is better than the original, I fairly think so. Um, I think they should have left the alternate ending as the original, and whatever crap they left at the end, originally, they should have just left out. Alright guys, next up, 
classic Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. I'd say this is Stanley Kubrick's take on The Shining, because it pissed Stephen King off something fierce, I tell ya. So, that's what I call this one. I call it Stanley Kubrick's take on The Shining. Because I don't call it Stanley Kubrick, Stephen King's The Shining. Because if you read this book, and you watch Stephen King's version of this film, so, so different than Stanley Kubrick's, but I do prefer Stanley Kubrick's version. So, sorry Stephen King, I do apologize. <laughs> the first epic horror film, and uh, I don't know about that, but uh, it's definitely an awesome one. We all know The Shining. We all love The Shining. Here's Johnny. All right, guys, next up, Dr. Sleep, part two. Awesome friggin' film, guys. Um, cannot say enough good things about this one. Fantastic sequel. Um, I love the fact that the creators of this film, they took some of Stephen King's uh, Shining some of Stanley Kubrick's Shining and Stephen King's Doctor Sleep book and mashed it into one. And um, Stephen King was happy with that. And so was the film director and whatever. And either way, they made an awesome friggin' movie, in my opinion. And um, again, I would love to see The Shining as a TV series because I would love to see how far The Shining goes and see more people like Rose the hat. Alright guys. Almost done here. Next up. We got. Deep Blue Sea. My second favorite all time. Shark film. Now I know it's CGI. But the cast is fun. The dialogue is fun. The area is, is an interesting area to have an underwater facility like that. And uh, overall, I watch this once a year. Um, I saw this in the theaters four times when it came out, guys. Four friggin' times. Am I a sucker? Maybe. But I enjoyed it. Alright, guys. Next up here, we got Alien Covenant. I do own the other Aliens, just not in DVD or Blu-ray form. And uh, I'm going to have to get those at one point. But I really did enjoy Alien Covenant. Not many people have. Uh, yes, there was predictableness in the film. But I love the look of the Alien. I actually love the story of Aliens. I'm a big Alien fan as well. Um, I'm a big sci-fi geek, I guess, because I just, I love Aliens, the look of Alien stuff. Not just the, the franchise, but just the look of Aliens in general. Uh, the spaceships, planets, crap like that. And if it has horror themed into it, it is just fantastic. And there's that little laughing gopher thing again. Alright guys, next up is the facility. Uh, the facility, the faculty my brain is going a mush because of the sound effects. <laughs> the Faculty. Also got this given to me by the Degler Reviews. Thank you, brother. Another all-time favorite of mine. Um, this is just a fantastic film, guys. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, uh, cranked up to 10. And uh, just a good time. I love, love the cast. Uh, such, such greatness. You know, great classic actors. Josh Harnett, he doesn't hardly act anymore. You know, you got Elijah Wood. He's not too bad. I loved him in the Maniac remake. I thought he was uh, pretty good in that. You know, you got some great actors here, guys. Fantastic film. If you haven't checked out The Faculty, make sure to. It is uh, a really awesome watch, and you will not regret it. All right, next up here is a four-pack... Uh, Alien Midnight Marathon Pack, actually. It's called Four Movie Midnight Marathon Pack. Aliens. You got John Carpenter's The Thing. John Carpenter's They Live. John Carpenter's Village of the Damned. And Virus. Now, I absolutely love all these films. Even Virus, guys. I know it gets a lot of hate. But uh, the dialogue, yes, was not the greatest. The cast was amazing. To me, 
Um, the storyline, like the backstory behind that is actually kind of scary, especially today. Uh, aliens taking over technology, going through technology to take us over, and uh, that's all we do today, guys. We're always on technology. So I'm going to apologize right now, guys, that this is going to be one of the longer parts, because I'm going to have a part three to this as well. And uh, I think I'm just going to end it because um, it's getting too long already. So I'm going to save the rest for tomorrow's part three. And uh, thanks for sticking with me this long. I do appreciate your guys' time. Y'all take care. Ciao.